everyone! So today's video is about the company Pacifica. I've heard about them, I, well I know I knew about them a long 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 time ago but I thought I would just give them a go. Um, I kind of felt like they were expensive probably because of the prices of their candles. Um, their candles in Holland and Barra are like £18. I just refuse to spend, spend that much money on a candle. So, um, so yeah so I think that kind of put me off but then I realised their actual perfume itself isn't all that expensive. They're 100 100% cruelty free and they are 100% vegan. I'm, I think that's right. Major everything that I bought was vegan. So, anyway, so today I went to Holland Ballarat, I went to Boots, I've been to Tesco's, I went to Superdrug, I went to everywhere that I could think that they had them. And then somebody in Superdrug was like, oh, there's a, a health food shop around the corner, which I completely forgot about. Um, so, yeah, went there and they had it. Um, I was quite lucky they had it on sale. So, um, yeah, I grabbed myself some bargains. So, the shop that I bought it from is called Kendra. That's their website. I don't know if they sell anything on their website, but it's worth a look, really, isn't it? Um, I did buy something else. I'll show you that first. This is um, some um, organic mini fruit bears, naturally tasty fruit gums, and they're by Biona Organic. Now, I know they do, like... Um, gravy granule things as well and they are gluten free, lactose free and vegan so um, yeah I'll give them a go so the first thing that I, I actually I picked up one of their 30ml bo bottles and then realised that they had more so I kind of exchanged them so I could get more for my money so the first thing that I got was um, a gift set of theirs now this is the um, Tuscan, Tuscan Blood Orange one and it comes with the fragrance, the um, body butter and then a lip balm and that was only £12.50 um, yeah I have unboxed it but I'll unbox it now so the body butter ingredients are like cocoa butter and things like that. There's seed oil in there, glycerin, but obviously from a vegetable source. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ingredients in there. Um, and the roll-on, which is the perfume, uh, denatured alcohol, natural grain, perfume. Specific as own fragrance blend with natural and essential oils and then aqua so they're probably not going to tell you what they put in it because of fear of having it stolen um, and then the lip tint it's got coconut oil um, sh uh, seed butter it's it's all vegan anyway so so let's open this bad boy up so you can see right so first of all I'll show you what I went in for uh, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's a 10 mil bottle. And to be honest, I think this is going to probably last me quite a while. Um, because it is it's a screw top. Because it's a roll on. So you just do it there, do it there, or on your... Like that. The smell of this is beautiful. It's not your typical um, orangey smell. It's got so many. It's it's got a different tone to it. So it has got a, but it's blood orange, isn't it? It's not like your tip, your normal orange or your tangerine or anything like that. Um, it's very fresh, which I wanted for the summer. I wanted something that was a little bit fresher than vanilla and things like that because I associate vanilla with colder times it's kind of warming and comforting and things like that so um, yeah this is very fresh it's beautiful it's nothing I've got um, I haven't got anything in my uh, perfume collection that smells like this but like I said it's very fresh um, it has got a slight orangey scent it's difficult to explain but it's got a sweetness to it, but not like a sugary sweetness. Yeah, it is beautiful. Um, I do. I like the name as well, Tuscan Blood Orange. Um, it's just the goth in me 
it's got blood in it so yeah but yeah so you've got that um the next thing was the um shea butter this is also vegan um and the por uh, portion of the proceeds support clean water so a portion of the of uh, the um proceeds to this go to clean water so this is what it looks like let's try it so it's like a medium sized consistency in the sense it's not too thick but it's not too thin and watery it sinks into my skin really really nicely see it's gone already I would say the smell isn't identical to the perfume it's got more of a sweeter smell to it but it definitely just has that like citrusy scent to it as well but it's beautiful it's like it's something that I haven't got already so very nice then the next one is I love the packaging as well the packaging kind of makes it look expensive which is nice because <laughs> i can't afford it it's better i can't afford expensive um so yeah i do like the packaging it's very mediterranean as well so um yeah right so anyway the um lip tint so this is what it looks like it's got beautiful decoration on it it's stunning um i don't know if you can get these things individually but uh, this is a colour quench. It's, it says natural colour quench. So I'm going to unscrew the whole thing so you can see how much actual product you get. And then I'll probably snap it. Because that's what I do. I uh, am clumsy. I think... Oh wow, you get a lot. Yeah. So you get that much that much product it's got like a because it, it is a tint it's like a like a rose type of um it's got like a, a shimmer to it like a purpley shimmer under a, like a re deep red the kind of red you would see in a blood orange and then the deep like the the purple shimmer to it so let's try it on you probably won't you're not going to be able to see it on my lips um I'm not wearing makeup, couldn't be bothered today, so it's a Sunday. Um, so let's try this and see what it's like on my lips. Mm. It gives my lips a bit of a shimmer, but it doesn't really change the colour of my lips all that much, which is fine by me, you know, it's not something that I really need. Or want but it has given me a shimmer to my lips which is quite nice the actual feeling on my lips really lovely the way that I would compare it is a bit like the lush lip tints in the sense that it's very moisturizing it's not like a um, a waxy base because this is vegan obviously it doesn't have any beeswax or anything but you know like Vaseline type of means too much on my lips whereas this hmm I like this, I will definitely use this when I want a bit of a, a shimmer to my lips, but not to put, I don't want to put anything on, so yeah, there's th that's them, I kind of have to rush through this because I only have like 20 minutes on my um, tablet thing, and I don't want to delete those of videos that I haven't actually posted yet, so, so the next thing that I bought was um, a... Again, another 10 mil, and this one's Hawaiian Ruby Guava. This one, this and the Blood Orange one was the one that I couldn't really choose between, so I thought, for the price, um, I'll uh, choose both. For that, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, that was £12.50. For these ones, they are on offer. Um, this was £9.60. Normally, they're about £12, uh, 12 to £14, which I don't think is a ridiculous price, for perfume that you know is vegan and is alcohol based so once the alcohol kind of evaporates it's going to stick to your skin and you'll smell it or you'll have like whiffs of it throughout the day hopefully i've never i haven't tried these for a whole day so once i do i will put a review of that but um yeah so 
this is what it looks like it's got a very pretty pattern on it with butterflies um, this one is more floral with a sweet end to it it is very very pretty again it's not something that I've got um, it reminds me of summer and freshness and like fresh linen they kind of they kind of all remind me of older perfumes that I used to use when I was younger the, like the cheaper stuff but with a more of a classier and well made end to it um, you know like some of this cheap stuff you get and it was absolutely vile but that's all you could afford when you were a kid this they have that sweetness to it but not the it I'm not, I don't think I'm explaining myself properly, but it's done beautifully. They are very, very beautiful. And they're not scents that I have from my Lush scents. Oh, God, this is beautiful. Um, yeah, so this is on the floral side, but with a sweet end to it. So, yeah, and another roll-on. I like the roll-on. They seem to move around my skin be really, really... Um, easily it sinks onto my skin nicely it doesn't leave a residue or anything like that which is always annoying so the next one that I've got is for my mum I bought this for my mum because um, she helps me out with my horses so um, I thought I'd buy her a gift I also bought her a charity pot um, from Lush because they were doing this weekend um, supporting the um, Hunt Sabs uh, association so um, I went in and I bought a charity pot and all the proceeds go to Hunt's Abs um, and I also made, made myself another bath bomb it was the butter bear, so, well, sorry not butter bear, butter ball so I couldn't resist and I got to see my friends as well so so anyway uh, this one is French Lilac and that's what the box looks like they're really pretty packaging I really like that um, they're all different they're very uplifting I suppose the word I'm looking for is. Um, the only thing that I will say is like the stickers aren't like stuck on properly and they're, they're yeah, little things like that. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. So this one has little flowers all over it. Now again, this is for my mum. I'm not a huge fan of lilac. How would you say it? Is it lilac or lilac? I don't know, people say it differently. It is a lovely smell, this, but it's just not me. It's... It's got a mum smell to it. That's, I think, why I chose it for my mum, because it reminds me of her and the scents that she would normally normally wear. My mum's vegetarian as well, so she likes to keep on top, and I do a lot of um, shopping for her um, and inform her because I do a lot more research and stuff so I think maybe she relies on me to do it um, yeah this one is it is beautiful and it sits really well on my mum she tried it on and I was like ooh I really like that and then I tried it on myself and it's on me I could smell like an undertone of um, I can smell the alcohol there but I think that's just going to put too much on. It's got like a... I just smelled coconut a second ago, but I can't smell it now. It doesn't... It sits okay on me, but it's again, I think it's just not... It's not a smell, uh, like a scent that I would normally really go for. I'm more into floral and light... No, sorry, not floral. Really light, um, uh, fruity type of um, scents. Um, which, to be fair, these two have got more of a fruity scent to them than this one has. But again, it is beautiful and it's really very light. Um, it doesn't feel overpowering um, on the skin. It just kind of it just kind of sits there. It's really it's really really beautiful. So yeah, so the overall like impression on these is a huge thumbs up I'm a massive like I will be buying a lot more oh so this one's got lilac heliotrope 
green notes and nectarine. So there is a fruity scent to it, but I think the others kind of overcome that. Then this one has guava, pomelo, and coconut notes. I don't smell coconut so much with them, but maybe it's combined with all of them, you do smell it. Um, does it say on the back? No. Nope. It doesn't say about the blood orange one on here. Does it say on the bottom? No. So, no, I don't know what the um, scents are for this. Okay, another thing to tell you is it's 100% vegan, cruelty free, formulated without FD and C colours, mineral oil, parabens, phthalates, petroleum, um, proline, pro, proline, glycol. SLS, sulfate, gluten or peanut oil. So if you have a peanut allergy as well, you are good to go with this or gluten. Because um, I know some people, I think if this is right, if, you, if you've if you got like quite a severe gluten um, allergy, you can't even wear, like have anything on your skin, uh, which includes ingesting it. So if you've got gluten, if you're um, allergic to gluten, then you can try this. It's... Um, It says TCA approved, but I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know what. Um, yeah, so massive, huge, huge fan of this. And I will be buying a lot more Pacifica. Um, and I do want to get one of the candles, but I'm not spending £18 on a soya candle. I am thinking about making my own soya candles because I have made candles in the past. Um, not for selling or anything, just for my own use. I like being crafty and things like that. And... Um, I would like to create some candles. Of them. I might try one with uh, that smell because I quite like that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm moving, hopefully, moving out soon and moving into my own place. And I've bought like light fixtures and candle holders, and I kind of want to make my own candles and make it all like me. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going off the subject. Pacifica, huge fan of now, and I will be buying more of their fragrances. I am still a big fan of Lush, and I still will always buy their their, prod uh, their um, fragrances. Not for a while yet, because they had so many of them. But um, I'm always going to be a big fan of Vanilla E. Like, that's my almost, like, utmost favourite one um, of all time. But, yeah, it's nice to have a bit of a variety with my fragrances now. Um... Yeah, I know that I was on a Facebook page and people were saying like the M&S ones are um, cruelty free. I don't know if they're vegan, so I'll check them out as well. Um, yeah, so if you guys know of any more uh, fragrance perfume companies that don't test on animals who are vegan, because I don't tend to just go for cruelty free, I want it to be cruelty free and vegan um, and especially things like um, making sure that their parent company or their company that own them don't test on all animals as well because um, there's a few out there like Stella McCartney she her perfume is vegan or suit is suitable for vegetarians and cruelty free but the company that own or distribute or make the perfume actually test on animals so I do have some of her perfume but I won't be buying any more for that reason um, I am pretty strict in that sense some people aren't some people are it's all personal preference really but um, but yeah as far as Pacifica I'll definitely be buying more I'll probably be buying more of the bigger bottles as well even though I do like the roll on size because it means that one I can get more and two it, it's handy for my handbag and things like that um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video it wasn't really like in depth or anything but if you want to know more about them then I'll probably do another review video or like another video after I've used them for quite a few weeks and let you know how I get on with them. So I hope you all had an awesome weekend. I'm going to go to bed now because I am 
tired and I've got work tomorrow. So, um, yeah, have a great week, everybody, and um, speak to you soon. Bye.